Good morning, folks. Today's focal point is right here. Not much to be seen in 304 angstroms except some angry plasma movements at the chromosphere corona interaction zone. It's ionized helium. What you can't see unless you look for ionized iron is the magnetic field structures associated with the turning area and surrounding regions. That is the telltale sign of a sunspot cresting onto the Earth-facing side of the sun. We've got the usual space weather today, two great articles, and a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Let's get to it at spaceweathernews.com, where the last day on our star was neither ultra-calm nor active enough for eruptive behavior on the Earth-facing side. Dark coronal hole is massive. About the closest thing we have to solar activity is the surging and plasma movement associated with the areas near the trans-equatorial extension of that opening. Filaments can be found, active plagues, and a bit more. Despite appearing to have a touch of life to her, the sun's solar flaring output remains dismal. Sunspot Trio on the right didn't get it together to fire on the Earth-facing disk, and it begins to depart now as the north-central grouping does grow and develop a bit. Actually got some mixing potential there at the lead umbers in the group. But folks, a real test for the Earth-facing quiet has just filled out his sign-up form. That's a beast. We actually have a legit sunspot on the disk now. Looking at the solar wind, there's nothing major, but a density rise in orange this morning should be monitored throughout the day as a coronal stream of solar wind is expected to impact in the coming day or so. Calm conditions are expected to give way to geomagnetic storms. Focusing directly on the coronal hole now, the first part didn't hit the equator, so the quake watch is moderate. Had that amazing volcano eruption at Torre Alba we showed yesterday, but that's about it. I hate to sound like a broken record, but again, the backside turning in now does cross the equator, and there's no chance the IMF from that one misses us. More significant quake watch coming. Top articles today. First paper claiming strong correlation between the global water cycle and solar activity. Not really a shocker for the observers, but always nice to see the mainstream on board with progress. And this, folks, solar wind from coronal holes, extra tropical cyclones. A couple days ago, we released the video, The Sun and Storms, really puts things into perspective. And folks, armed with links and papers like this one, you can start to be convincing when it comes to getting your local experts and your friends to peek in on what the observers are doing. Speaking of that, suspiciousobservers.org website members click premium and you've got some catching up to do. Billy with some new stuff in Yelverton's lab and in the deeper look section, we went a little nuts this week. New episode every day with a focus on the magnetic reversal and changes on the sun. Of course, that would just be an appetizer because it is Saturday today, so our Fly on the Wall podcast will be recorded in just a few hours. For less than $4, you get hundreds of hours of content on the sun, climate, earthquakes, magnetic reversal, human health effects of space weather, and more. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.